Hi friends, welcome to Oracle Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about group by clause. We know that this group by clause is used to group the results of a select query based on one or more columns. Here we can see the syntax for this group by clause. Select column names, then aggregate function from table name. Then we can give our conditions if needed. Then group by column name 1. Then we can give more number of columns if required. Then having condition if required. We will see some examples using this group by clause so that it will be more clear. First of all, we will create a simple table. Uh, then we will do this group by clause. Here we are going to create a table named mdet. Uh, here we can see the columns m id number m dpt it's m department number then m name where care 2 of 20 then m salary number we will uh, run this query and we will create this table here we can see table created now we will insert some values into this uh, table uh, m det Here we can see that we will insert these uh, rows. Now we inserted five rows into this uh, table uh, M D E T. We will see that table using this query select. Star from table name is uh, EMPDET. Here we can see our table. Five rows are returned. If we observe this table, here we can see this M department 100 and 200. Here we can see we have two uh, employees uh, from this uh, uh, M department 100 and three employees uh, from M department. Uh, 200 and here we can see uh, each employee's MP name and MP salary right right now we are going to group this table uh, using this column MP department here we are going to find the sum of the MP salary uh, from the MP department 100 and 200 here we can see the query for that Select we required M D E P T. Then we will give sum of it's a group function or aggregate function. Here we will give M salary. We are going to find the uh, sum of the M salary from each department. Then from table name it's M D E T. Now we are going to group by. Then we have to specify uh, the column name. Uh, we will uh, group by M department, so it's a EMP DEPT. Now we will run this query, and here we can see the result. In this result, we can see the total sum of the M salary from the department hundred, and here we can see the total uh, sum of the M salary from the department two hundred. Here we can use any aggregate function as per our requirements like avg, min, max, count, etc. So we will see some more examples uh, using these uh, aggregate functions. We will copy this query. And we will paste it here. So here instead of this uh, aggregate function sum, here we are going to give AVG, that is the average of MB salary from each department. Now we will run this query. And here we can see the result. The average MB salary from each department, that is uh, department 100 and department 200. Now we will find the minimum and the maximum uh, M salary uh, from each department. We will uh, copy this query. 
and here we will give min mb salary also here we will give comma max of mb salary now we will run this query and we can see uh, the minimum and the maximum mb salary from each department that is department 100 and department 200 here we can see the result department 100 minimum salary is 1000 maximum th salary is uh, 1500 and in MB department 200 here we can see the minimum salary is 2000 and the maximum salary is uh, 2500 now we will find the total number of employees from each department uh, coming to this query select star from MB DET here we can see in this department 100 uh, we have two employees and in MB department 200 we can see total uh, three employees so total five employees now we are going to write a query uh, to get the number of employees from each department here we can uh, see the query for that select we will give m d e p t comma then the aggregate function count of star from table name is m d e t then we will group by m d p t m department here we can give an alias number of uh, employees now we will run this query and here we can see the result in M department 100 uh, we have the number of employees 2 and here we can see in uh, 200 3 so total we have 5 now we will see some more advanced queries for this uh, group by clause here we are going to use another table uh, here we can see that table select star from m details and here we can see our table total 13 rows returned here we can see m department we have a 10 20 and 30 and here we can see the MB job, it's manager, clerk, salesman in different different MB departments. And here we can see MB hire date, MB salary. Now we are going to write a group by query with the uh, where clause. Here we can see that query. Select, here we are going to give a column MB DEPT comma then the aggregate function sum of we have a MB salary from table name is uh, MB details and here we are going to filter by MB hire date greater than here we are going to specify the date 0101 zero one, zero one, 2012 then we are going to give group by we are going to a group by MB department MB DEPT now we will run this query and here we can see the result we can see the departments uh, 10 20 and 30 and here we can see, see the sum after filtering where MB higher date greater than 0101 01, 2012 here if you observe we can see this MB department is not in an order suppose we want to uh, display in uh, in ascending order uh, I mean uh, 10 20 and 30 so uh, we can uh, use this order by clause uh, along with this group by we will see that query now we will uh, use this uh, same query we will copy it then after this group by clause we are going to give the clause order by we can give order by uh, M department so it's M by DEPT 
so we'll remove the semicolon and we'll put it here now we will run this query and here we can see the result now this embed department it's in ascending order this table is in ascending order by embed department now we are going to group using more than one columns so coming to our table uh, embed details here we can see our table here we can see this embed department 10 20 and 30 and in each department we can see different embed jobs like manager here we can see that in department 10 we have manager then we can see clerk then we can see salesman again manager again clerk clerk so we are going to group by these two columns that is M D E P T and M job here also we will copy this query so that it will be more easy here we will remove this filtering and here we are going to give order by M D E P T comma then we will use Yemb job. Now we will run this query and we will see the result. Here we can see the result. Yemb department, here we can see uh, this uh, department 10 shows three times. And here we can see this department 20 shows three times and 30 shows two times. We may be confused why it shows like this so what we will do we will rewrite this query we will make a small modification here here we are going to add one more column that is m j o b job comma then sum of m salary now we will run this query and here we can see the result now it will be more clear in this output here we can see uh, from this uh, embed department 10 uh, we can see different embed uh, jobs such as clerk manager and salesman here we can see the sum of the embed uh, salary uh, whose embed job is a uh, clerk and uh, whose embed department is a uh, 10 and here we can see the sum of the embed salary whose embed job is manager and embed uh, department is 10 so respectively we can see uh, other department also i would like to make it more clear uh, using uh, uh, some modifications with this query so here i'm going to give aggregate function count of here we are going to give m job then sum of m salary from m details a group by embed dpt and embed job now we will run this query and here we can see the result here we can see the sum of the embed salary whose embed job is clerk and embed department is 10 and here we can see the count it's a three uh, we can see a three uh, clerk from the department 10 and here we can see a uh, two manager from uh, department 10 and one salesman from 10 and here we can see the total uh, sum of uh, the embed salary here here we can see one clerk in embed department 20 here we can see uh, two salesmen in embed department 20 and their total uh, embed salary and here we can see uh, two salesmen in embed department 30 and their total uh, uh, salary sure even we can use the other aggregate functions as per our requirements uh, we will see uh, one example sure instead of sum we will use avg so it gives the average emb salary uh, from uh, each emb department with the emb job so we will run this query and here we can see the result so here it shows the average embed salary i think uh, you are all almost clear with this uh, group by clause 
with all these examples. If you like my video, give a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. And we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.